What is up, internet? Uh, welcome to episode of one of Behind the Band. Um, since we can't go outside right now or, or do gigs, um, this is kind of something that we thought about just to um, get to talk to you guys a little more. Um, you know, we try to talk with everybody as much as we can at shows, but of course those are really, really busy uh, between trying to make sure we have the right set list, that, you know, instruments are tuned, and uh, everything like that. So, this is just kind of, um, our way of getting to know you better. Um, so this is episode one. Uh, next Wednesday, our bassist, Robert, uh, will be uh, hosting, so that's going to be super exciting. Uh, and Emily is watching. Hi, Emily. Um... So basically what we're doing, uh, this is just kind of like a, a Q&A. Um, so you're welcome to ask anything about the band. Uh, we can like ask personal, not like stupid personal and inappropriate, but um, you know, just fun stuff. Um, so have fun with it. Uh, floor is open. I want to talk to you. Um, so I'm just going to chill with you guys here for an hour or if it gets busy, we'll, uh, you know, we'll let it go a little longer, but it just kind of depends. Um, and for me, um, all of my social media links are in the description. Um, I'm on Facebook, obviously, uh, only through the band page. Um, I don't allow everyone on my personal page just because that would get really, uh, busy. Um, but my Instagram is completely public, so is my Twitter and my YouTube and the, um, Instagram links for um, both myself personally and the band are in the description and the YouTube is my personal account um, but it is uh, it has all the band stuff on it it's all band related um, and there's some Springfield after hour stuff on there too but that's basically yeah so we're just uh, gonna hang out so yeah so what do you guys want to talk about <laughs> I'm just gonna chill here with with my wine. Oh, how are you guys handling quarantine? I'm not doing so great myself. Um, just put your questions and stuff in the comments. I know I can't uh, obviously see your faces, but if you put a comment, I'll answer it or uh, you know do whatever. See you. I think I've exhausted my dog, actually, because um, we've been doing a lot of walks. And uh, she's not having it. She's kind of a brat on her walk today. <laughs> so. It's so early still. Oh, oh we have our friend Katie watching. Hey, Katie, how are you? He said, you're not doing so great. Are you not doing so great just because the wine is gone? Or what else is going on? Hi, Kyle. We have our friend Kyle from Wicked Shimmy watching. It's exciting. So what do you guys want to talk about? Tell me how you're doing. Or if interesting, I don't know, we did trivia last week. Um, so... You can trivia me. I can't guarantee I'll know the answer, but I'll try. This is about as much people interaction as I've gotten in, well, I guess since last Wednesday, since we did the uh, virtual concert. Um, so, yeah. It's been, lockdown's been weird. Um, how long have I been singing in bands? Um, I have been a performer my whole life um but uh jar 241 is my first band um and i put everything that i have into it my whole heart and soul and i hope that shows um on the business side of it and the actual stage part of it um but yeah first band uh which met them uh during an open mic, actually, um, and they asked me to come to a uh, practice, and I've never left. 
So yeah, we'll have our one year anniversary in May. We should be out of this nonsense by then, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I've been singing for a long time, just more competitions and um, solo based, kind of experimented with a little bit of everything. Uh, hey Brie, how are you? We miss you so much. I do love seeing your and Santana's posts though. Those are great. <laughs> Homeschooling an 11 year old boy, not fun. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Katie. I, uh, I actually homeschooled high school. Um, I homeschooled myself though, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Little, a uh, little tidbit of information, I guess. So what is, what is your kid doing? Is he just not behaving or? I mean, he doesn't really seem, um, misbehaved to me, but I don't live with him. So there's that too. <laughs> I know, real exciting just watching me drink wine, right? I'm also like pretty blind, <laughs> to be completely honest. So if you see me like over here, I'm like trying to see what she said, and I'm sorry. Oh. So Brie, um, uh, Brie, who's watching, she is. Uh, one of the main bartenders at uh, Royal 66, which we uh, performed at a few times. One of our favorite places to go. Um, and we always talk with her about booking and everything. Amazing to work with. Um, but Royal 66 is in Arkansas. Um, so how is like the quarantine and lockdown and all of that? Does that differ much from what we're going through in Missouri? Or are things more strict? Or what's going on there? Because obviously, like, we can't go there, so I have really no idea. And I've just kind of been trying to stay sane myself, so. <laughs> There's, like, ten people watching, but, like, hardly anybody commenting. What do you all want to talk about? I can blabber in front of a camera if I need to, it's fine. It's whatever. I know sometimes comments delay though. Um, on this end. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we've got comments. Sorry, my computer was just being slow, I apologize. Hi Jason, yes, we can't wait to be back at Royal 66, we're very excited. Yeah. Are you, Katie, are you taking him, like, can, is he allowed to go outside? Because I know here, and I think everywhere, they're saying that you can still go out and exercise. So I know I've been going out for a lot of walks and runs with my dog. Um, oh, okay, and Jason's saying that Arkansas is not locked down other than bars. Okay. Yeah, um, I live in Springfield. Um, as does, uh, Robert, who will be doing next week's episode, and yeah, we're, like, completely locked down. Except for, um, obviously essential businesses, um, and then exercise outside. I will say one positive that I've seen is every day when I take my dog out, or if I just go on a, a walk myself, the, there's a lot of people outside. A walking, running, biking, like people are being active, which is really nice. Um, obviously, we're on our phones and computers a lot more. I, I know that I am, and I'm not a person that likes to stay on my phone a lot. Um, it looks like I do, because I do a lot of business, obviously, related to promotions and stuff on my phone, but uh, it's not always... Um, 
the case. So, but yeah, it's really cool to see people being active right now. Um, hi, Kimberly. I hope you're doing okay. I'm glad to see that you joined. Um, okay, so Brie, yeah, it does look like pretty much so non non essential places um, are shut down too. Um, do I write lyrics to original songs? Um, I, I do. Um, we haven't done any as a band. Um, we're working towards that. Um, I personally haven't written an original song in a, in a long time. Um, but I do have a book, um, that I would carry around with me all the time. Um, and just jot down ideas and stuff that came to me. Um, that's in storage right now. Probably need to get it out, um, or get a new one because that one's full. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can put some of that to use. That'd be awesome. Um, oh, that's really cool. So you're gonna, so, um, Dallas is gonna be doing, um, a report on, like, the life cycle of frogs? Is that, is that what's happening? Also, I'm super jealous that you have a motorcycle, Jason. I want one sad. Oh, and we also have our friend James from Wheelhouse Watching. So that's super exciting, too. Thank you, guys. I know this is just kind of like a weird... Um, there's no music or anything, but um, I can put music on in the background. We can do that. Um, but it's not us performing. It's just us chilling with each other. <laughs> For a while. Um, again, um, all of my social media links, all of the band social media links are in the description. And um, we, as well as myself, would absolutely love it. Um, if you would like, follow, subscribe. It'd be awesome. Um, all of the video content that you see on Jar 241, there's even more of it um, on the YouTube page. Um, just lots of fun stuff. Um, so that, that's what I've been doing the past two days. There's a lot of video editing and uploading, so there should be, right now, until April 24th, there is, should be a new video that drops every morning at 9 a.m., so that'll be fun. Oh. What is going on, her? Okay, so maybe I should ask you guys questions. Turn the tables a little bit, maybe. Could be a little scary. <laughs> oh, hey, Matt. I didn't see that you popped in. I'm so sorry, man. Uh, Matt from Wheelhouse is here, too. If you guys haven't seen them, um, they are also... Um, part of our Springfield music scene. They're awesome. Finally got to see them like three, four weeks ago at Carrie's. Um, finally didn't have a gig to have, that I had to do, so I got to go. It was a really, really fun night. Um, uh, Russ and I went with a couple of our friends. Super fun. I mean, we, uh, well, Springfield After Hours covered the, what was it, Boobacue? But we could only do like one song because then I had to go to work because I, you know, I have a real, real job. I don't like that term, but um, have a bartending job as well. Um, sorry, I'm just reading comments here real fast. Oh, well, hey, Dallas. Hi, back to you, sweetheart. That's a really cool... Um, goal. I love, you don't hear like a lot of kids say they want to be a paleontologist. So that's really cool. I love that. What is my favorite song to sing? Um, like with the band or in general? Cause it, it switches. Um, yeah, it switches. So I don't know. I don't know. Might need more clarification on that question.
We're up to 20 comments so far, though. That's fun. And shockingly, I'm not getting, like, text messages at the same time. <laughs> or you guys can even, like, as obviously we're on break right now with um, all of our fellow musicians. If there's, like, a song that maybe you want us to learn or an artist that you want us to add, um, we're definitely going to be having some changes coming up. We haven't announced them yet, um, because we're just trying to keep things, um, positive and present. Uh, we don't want to throw too much out there. Um, but, yeah, if there's something you might want us to add, throw it in there. It might happen. It might not. But sometimes there's a lot of great artists that we forget about. Um, both. On the set list. Okay. Um... Who I really that's on the set list. I really doing 18 in life uh, by Skid Row. I really, really enjoy doing that song. I think it's a really powerful song. Obviously, I love doing um, somebody love. I'll sing any Queen song. I don't. I don't care. Um, and I really love doing teenagers. Um. There's a lot of stuff. I love mental health, too. Yeah. I was like, I'm sure there's more. I love Highway to Hell. Um, it's just a fun, fun party song. Everybody gets into it. Um, they, uh, when we played Dockside in Rockway Beach, um, there was a, a table in the back that had a lot of fun with that song. There's a video of it somewhere. Um, but they're, yeah, they're really into it. Just, yeah, super fun. Super fun night. This is weird seeing myself on this camera. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little weird. Just like, eh, man, this, this hair is sticking up. It's fine. It's weird. Gonna check my phone for a second. It's fine. But, okay, can somebody please tell me real fast? Okay, I opened Instagram up for two seconds. That's what I just did. And the first thing that I see is a meme about. The Tiger King, which I guess is like a big thing on Netflix right now. There's so many memes going out and like people constantly going like that bitch Carol Baskin or something like that. I don't, I don't know who that is. I particularly don't care. But can somebody tell me what the hell that is? Because I can't bring myself to watch it. It just, it seems a little, um much. You know, I like weird things, but that's almost... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Who was one of my first vocal influences? Um... Hmm. It's a hard one. Um... Probably Freddie Mercury. Um, Queen was the band that changed everything for me. Um, they were the band that got me into rap music in the first place and showed me that there was something different than what I was brought up with. Um, so probably Queen. Um, some people know this about me. I did Strictly Opera for two years. Um, so, in that way, I'm very inspired by Sarah Brightman. Um, but overall, probably Freddie. You know, his range is just impeccable, and it's, uh, it's a good thing to strive towards. Absolutely, Matt. Please feel free. Um, 
obviously I know this is a new thing, um, so maybe we're not getting the influx at first that we want, um, but obviously this gets shared and edited later on. Um, so please feel free to put the social media links and everything for Wheelhouse um, in the comments so that people can see it. Because um, I really appreciate uh, you guys hanging out tonight. So, yeah. Should I put music on? Stoop, I don't know, we're dancing. <laughs> My dog is asleep and thoroughly just not entertained by anything I'm doing right now. Not at all. Hey, we're 20 minutes in. Look at that. That's fun. To be fair, it is still kind of early. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good question for you guys, actually. Um, cause I was going to make a post on my personal page. Um, cause like I said, I've been doing a lot more walks obviously than I normally do. I mean, I exercise pretty much every day, but as far as like walking, um, not every day, but I've been doing it obviously lately cause what else is there to do? That's, that's a great way to get outside. Um, so I was going to make a request on my personal page, be like, hey, send me your songs, because I was kind of bored of the music that I was listening to, and not that I don't love it, because I do, but it's just like, send me good stuff to listen to, and I'll make a playlist for my next walk. So that's a great question. Like, send me your songs. Like, what are you listening to right now um, that's getting you through uh, quarantine? I'd love to look it up while on a walk. Uh, you know, send me your song, or just a song that you like. You know, I'll happily listen to it. How are things in Missouri? Um, as a person? <laughs> or um, with all of the... Um, well, gestures to everything. <laughs> um... My dog is trying to sneeze on my cat. So you see. Oh, my cat was doing that earlier. Well, wasn't jumping on my dog, but she was having a hell of a heyday uh, playing with one of those rubber bracelets um, that a lot of times like bands and stuff give out. Thank you, Doug. You as well, man. Thank you so much. Um, Emily, I have a blue healer. She's, she's my baby. I will gladly show pictures anytime and you've opened the door so this is now happening. Um, it's been a good one. Oh, there's a good one. This is my screen background right now. I don't know if you guys, oh, I know that's blurry. That's hard to see there. Oh, glare. Not working this whip. It's hard to see, but she she's cute. Anyhow, that was that was kind of weird. The uh, technology. <laughs> Gotta plug my phone back in now. Whew. I am so sorry. I should have been tired. I really shouldn't. I got up at 9, but still, shouldn't be this tired at 7.24. Yes, they are. She's... Blue healers are amazing. Um, she is my my life. Um, she's a brat, obviously, but she's perfect. Um, when I got her, I wasn't even expecting to get a dog. 
Um, I went to visit a friend who uh, worked at the animal shelter at the time. I was just stopping to say hi. I had a day off or something. I don't know. And um, literally, because the cat room was in the front and the dog room was the, in the back, walked to the dog room and literally we just locked eyes. And I was like, well, guess I'm getting a dog today. And uh, yeah, so she chose me. That whole thing about um, you don't choose your dog, they choose you is uh, it's very true. Very true. Can attest to that. Um, so yeah. Really feel like I should put on music. Anybody else feel like this is like an awkward first date? <laughs> I know my com yeah, I'm sure there's some more comments, but I know that it's like uh lagging just a little bit, I'm sure. Um because of internet. Do Jeremy and I practice our harmonies? Um, no, actually we don't. Um, there was one time, um, that we practiced harmonies on, I think it was Comfortably Numb, like months and months ago. Um, because originally, um, I was going to take the higher part. And he was going to sing the lead on it. And then he had this idea, like, I don't know, the first, I think it was like the week before the first time we played Dennis's, I think, that he was like, yeah, it was uh, the week before Valentine's Day. Uh, he was like, what if we make it a duet? And so then he took the higher part in the harmonies and I sang the, the melody. Um... But yeah, other than that, no, we just we just do it. Uh, Jeremy's all about harmonies, um, and he's incredible about it. Um, and he knows how I sing and how I like to to run on certain things. Um, so he just picks it up really well. Um, the boy's legit. You know, he he knows his shit. So I really appreciate that. It's been a great um, artistic partner. Um, for almost a year. So, yeah. Cheers to you, my friend. <laughs> Just chilling. Checking my email. It's fine. It's fine. See, this is the stuff, like, you guys see, like, the fun and exciting Lena, like during shows, um, this is just me at home. Just actually, this is probably more than what I normally talk at home. Um, so, which is fine. No, I love it. And if you guys enjoy this, um, we'll gladly do more of them um, until things get back to. Um, I don't want to say normal because I don't think that things are going to go back to the way that they were. Um, something will happen though. Something good has to come out of it. Um, revolution. A solo performance? Doug, what do you mean by a solo performance? Um, give me a little bit more uh, clarification on that. Because I was a solo artist for years. Um, so I'm not sure how to answer that one without a little more detail. Did you guys watch or watch? I guess it was on the radio. I guess there the there was a watch party on our um Facebook page. The uh KKID ninety two point nine FM. Did you guys see slash listen to that? That was a really fun time. Really enjoyed that. My favorite concert that I've been to. Um, boy. Um, mm, 
Hmm, that's a hard question. That's a good one. Um, I've been fortunate enough to see a lot of amazing concerts. Um, and I really love my black metal bands. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, when I got to see Children of Bodom uh, the first time, I was ecstatic. Um, and I'm hoping all of this crap finally blows over because I really want to see Motley Crue in the summer. Um, but as soon as I read that question, the first thing that popped into my head was Smashing Pumpkins. Um, so I think that I'm probably going to have to go with Smashing Pumpkins. Um, the uh, It was the original lineup. Um, and it was in Kansas City. Uh, I forget what the stadium is called. I'm sorry, but it's the big ass stadium um, up there. And uh, it was, they had some opening bands, which I forget. Um, I think I had to work, so I didn't get to leave town in time to get up there and see um, the opening bands, but that was okay. And what really made it cool was not only was it the original lineup, but a lot of times when you see um, a, a band, like a touring band like that, um, you know, they have one or two opening bands and then they play for an hour, hour and a half maybe. Literally from the time they went on stage, they did three and a half hours on their own. Like it was ridiculous, but it was amazing. There was video that coordinated with like these weird statue things coming through the audience. It was just, it was, incredible absolutely incredible um i had two hours of sleep that night and uh, by the time that i got home and i got up and went to work the next day and was very tired worth it on every level completely worth it oh hey haida haida james hill has joined uh, I uh, like you singing for us. Um, I mean, I can, but I don't have any instruments. I can only play, like, half of one song on guitar right now. Like, that's what we're working on. Um, that's one of the things that we have coming up is I'll be playing, um, some instruments moving forward. Not all the time. Just, like, select songs. Uh, cause I'm a singer first and foremost. Um, and that, that's what I want to focus on. But yeah, uh, there, there's some stuff I want to learn how to play. Um, so I mean, I can karaoke it. I'm real good at karaoke. <laughs> um, but, um, I mean, if that's what you mean, then yeah, I could, I can do that. can totally do that. I am on the computer, not a phone, so um, we have access to YouTube. Which again, um, speaking of YouTube and other social media, please, um, all the links are in the description. Go and like, follow, subscribe, please, 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 because um, um, us as musicians um, especially in the world that we live in, like, we, we need that. We need people to be present and watching. And even though it seems that it, like it's something that's so trivial, um, in the words of the crow, nothing is trivial. Um, oh, very cool. That's an awesome goal. That's a really awesome goal. Um, I personally... Um, I, I, I'm sure I've heard some Shine Down songs, um, but I couldn't tell you anything by them. Um, but if they speak to your soul, go for it. I'm all about like, all about it. Um, I don't. I I've never heard of Alter Bridge though. Um, what um. What, what what do they do? I'm assuming they're rock. I could be wrong. I don't want to judge 
or assume, I guess is probably the more proper word. Um, karaoke. Oh, we could do some karaoke. Uh, where's on now? That's very cool. That's very cool, Katie. I love that um, karaoke's been helping you with that. That's really awesome to hear. And I'm glad to be able to have um, more time to talk to you and, and everybody else um, with stuff. Because like I said, we don't really get um, the time that we would like to, to have these conversations during gigs. Because we are working. Um, and there's a lot that goes into that. I mean, it looks like fun, and it absolutely is fun, but it, it, it is work. Like, there's a lot of things you have to be aware of um, during that. Um, so, uh, Doug, what kind of karaoke are you thinking? Like, what would you want to do? And are you going to make a video of yourself doing karaoke as well and posting it? Because I feel like there needs to be something on the line. <laughs> It's real weird though. Like it's super flipping weird to not be able to sing right now. Like there's a part of me that's like kind of appreciative because obviously on top of everything that's going on, it's also allergy season. So everybody is stuffed up in general. Um, I think I'm past it, but I know every morning like I take my dog outside with my cup of coffee and I'm just like, got you. And I might take a natural supplement um, for sinuses when it goes away. But, yeah. Weird times. Weird times, man. Hey, Jessica. How are you? Um, let's see. Okay. Um, Katie, please tell Dallas that I will look that up. I will make a note to do that, and I'll add it to my, um workout playlist um because like i said please send me your songs like i'm bored um i recently i always enjoyed fallout boy um i've seen them in concert and that was amazing um but i just kind of lost didn't lose my love for them but i just focused on other stuff and so i've recently been uh, getting back into them but i need more um if i could live anywhere where would i live um Mm, Vegas or Seattle. Um, I'm not a California person. Um, I've honestly never had any interest in California, um, which is weird because uh, I uh, I am a theater kid, and that's where most people go. Um, but yeah, no, I love Vegas. I really, I, I really love their performing arts community out there. Um, I also don't like being cold. I kind of enjoy seasons, like, around, like, Yule and stuff like that. I think snow is pretty, but we haven't really been getting snow around here. So it's just kind of cold for no reason, which is kind of annoying. Um, what else we got? Uh, Doug, you can totally do death metal screaming. I'm not opposed to that at all. Um, I'm, I'm quite a fan of the um, harder core metal genres. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm 100% on board with that happening. Um, and also, um, sorry, kind of to backtrack a little bit, uh, Seattle, and I don't know, honestly, where I'm going to end up, um, but Seattle, I love the rain. I'm most creative when it rains. Um, and they have a very big art community out there as well. Um, from music to theater to um, actual physical art, painting, crafts. Um, and a great supportive LBG. LBG I can't talk. That community um, that I'm very involved in and in, in love. Um, all of that's just 100% my thing. Um, and also, um, two of my heroes are buried out there, which I think would be really cool um, to to be around, which is Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee. Um, obviously, I grew up with Brandon Lee, um, 
So, huge fan of the crow. Uh, but yeah, they're buried right next to each other, so I think that'll, I don't know. There's a lot of reasons. I could go into more detail, but we don't, I don't know if we get to that. Oh, Karina! Hey, girl. Better get some juicy questions going up in here. <laughs> and yes, Katie, Vegas is amazing. I've been a few times. Um, you should totally go if you get the chance. I know people talk a lot of stuff about how it's, Sin City and all of this stuff, but honestly, um, and not to bash Springfield at all, because I love Springfield, absolutely adore Springfield, but I will say I've walked around Vegas multiple times by myself in the dark late at night and never felt scared. I don't always feel that way here. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, both cities are amazing. We have, a, we have an amazing music community. Um... I just feel like it, it's more growing. I don't know. I'm not quite talking. I saw Karina like posted a heart. I see no comments yet, which is very disappointing. Just sitting here on the internet babbling. Also, if anybody wanted to like socially distance deliver me wine. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I'm halfway joking, but also not at, at all. I'm just being real. I saw a meme earlier today that said, um, time is now divided between coffee hours and drinking hours. <laughs> there is no in between. And honestly, that's kind of accurate. I mean, I kind of have copy hours, work slash workout hours, and then drinking hours, but yeah, pretty, uh, pretty accurate. Pretty, pretty, pretty accurate. How did JAR241 become a band? That's a great question. Actually, I need to put our story um, on the page because Facebook gives you that option, um, but not everything is kind of concrete yet so I haven't done it um Jar 241 became a band because Jeremy answered an ad um from our former bass player wanting to start a Pink Floyd tribute band um so they did some Pink Floyd stuff somehow they met Russ um and so they were a trio for a while um and they were playing at open mic nights and stuff like that um one of the venues that they were the house open mic band at the time. Um, a friend of mine owns, owned uh, that venue and I was just, I was having a really bad day. I had just lost my job. I had just, uh, it was moving, like lost my job, lost my house, all that stuff. And I was just having a really bad day. I'm like, I need to be around people. I need to be around music. And I just randomly um, went into the open mic night and he kept screaming, let her sing, let her sing. So we found one song that um, we all knew, the three of them and me. And that was Seven Nation Army. Um, the video, actually, the first time we ever sang together is on my Instagram. Again, follow, like, subscribe to all the links in the uh, description. But, um, yeah, so we did that one song. Got invited to a practice the next week by uh, Jeremy. And uh, the rest is history. So here we are. Here we are. Hey Ben! How are you? Oh, Mama need to stand up here in a hot minute and pop her back. Gee, Lord. There's so many hearts, but not calm. <laughs> <laughs> what is my favorite food? Um, I don't know. Probably broccoli. <laughs> to be completely honest, um, I'm I'm vegetarian. Um, I lean towards vegan. Um, if I can avoid any animal byproduct, which is eggs, things like that, I will. I understand it's not always possible. 
um, when eating out and stuff like that. But I try to avoid it. Um, I still eat cheese. I'm trying to get away from that. But um, I, I cook a lot and I bake a lot. And I try to make it as vegan as possible. Probably broccoli. I love broccoli. How long have you been in the band? I've been in the band since uh, this month, last year. So, one year. And um, we made our debut May 10th, 2019 as a foursome. So that is our anniversary and we will be doing our anniversary show um, at one of our favorite venues um, in Licking, Missouri called Fergie's Midtown. Um, so we're really excited about that. Um, It was Jackson. Jackson's your dog, right, Ben? If so, I need pictures. Because you know me and dogs. Honestly, Karina, like, I think for you, like, I completely understand the open mic, like, missing it. Like, I think that's amazing. You need the, you need the exposure. You need people to see how amazing you are pushing for like you and Dominique and Adam to learn a fucking song um because we need to get you on stage never went to open mics except that one night, which is really weird so things can change in an instant that's all I'm saying so keep doing okay so we have two new questions how long have you been doing oh there's more comments how long have I I'm sorry I'm so sorry. I should have known that was your son. I'm sorry. I'm in dog mode. <laughs> I should have known that was your kid. <laughs> oh, you can still send me pictures of your cute baby, though. I'm not opposed to that either. Just saying. Ladies, let's go for it. Um, how long have I been doing burlesque? Um, hmm. Gotta think on that for a minute. Um, well, I've been dancing. Um, I'm a trained ballet and tap dancer. I'm also trained in four Latin styles. Um, and I'm a licensed Zumba instructor. And I taught um, for a while in Branson when I still lived there. Um, until, well, Branson's not a great workout community. Um, there are people that enjoy working out, but it's just not, there's not en enough jobs. Um, for all of us trainers, um, so just kind of put that to the side uh, when I moved to Springfield. Um, but I think I got into burlesque. Um, probably four or five years ago. Um, I could be wrong on that estimate, but I feel I feel like that's correct. Something I wanted to try. Something that I wanted to see if I'd be, uh, feel comfortable doing that. And yeah, it's helped me through a lot. So I yeah. am. Um, what is my inspiration? Um, what do you mean? Um, again, that's, that's a question I, I probably need more specification on. What's with somebody's putting a sad emoji? Why is there a sad emoji? I'm very, very um, intrigued by that. What are, what is my favorite venues to perform at Jar Two Forty One? Oh boy, um, love Royal Sixty Six, which is in Arkansas. Um, love Fergie's in Licking. Um, we really enjoy Twin Bridges um, in West Plains as well. Um, and it's not that we don't enjoy playing Springfield because we absolutely do, but for us, um, because we typically do travel a lot, um, that we have found that some of our greatest fans and our greatest friends have come from those gigs, um, whether that be the bar staff people out in the audience, 
people that have reached out and really care about us, not just as musicians, but as people. And, you know, we feel the same way with them. Um, yeah, we just, we just really enjoy it. And, um, also, um, they don't have, it's gonna, no, I'm not gonna say that. It's fine. It's not gonna say that. <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's just funny. Quit talking now. Wait, that's not the right theme. I needed Jeopardy and I did Twilight Zone. Also, another great song. Twilight Zone. Good song. You're in Twilight Zone. Sorry. The <laughs> time. Oh, there's a new comment. Oh, I love Ed. Ed is so sweet. I really enjoy Ed a lot. Do I have any people in my life that I would like to thank or appreciate who have helped to get me where I am now? Ooh, that's a heavy question. Um... I'm gonna say the band in Springfield After Hours. Um, real um, deep for a moment. Um, I haven't had a great amount of support in my life. Um, pretty much always been on my own. Um, so I'm used to doing things on my own and I, I, I enjoy it. I'm good with it. Um, but yeah, like literally the main people in my life are the band and Springfield After Hours. I don't really talk to many people on a personal level outside of that. Um, the person that I talk to that's, that's in another local band, um, but yeah. I like I feel bad. I feel like really shitty for not being able to answer that question um in a heartfelt manner. Um but I'm just you know, I'm just trying to be real real honest. Um so yeah. I might have to think about it, but a comment later in a question. Uh, Katie, which song are you referring to, honey? Which one are you suggesting? Are you talking about the... Is it the Alter Bridge song? I can't scroll up right now and double check um, since it's live. I can look at it later when we cut the feed, but right now I can't. Um, and also, let us know um, if obviously Robert's going to be doing one of these next when most of you that have seen us live know that Jeremy's not much of a talker um, in public. He's a great showman, but he's just not much of a talker. Um, or we're not going to force somebody to do something they don't want to do. Um, like these, you know, if you, you know, like these just like one-on-one -on -one chat sessions, let us know. Um, we'll happily continue them if you'd enjoy it. And, um, you know, we're constantly trying to think of more creative ways to keep the page active and keep you guys engaged and and um, and keep us engaged as well, you know, um, to be with you. Because we can't go out and perform right now and it fucking sucks. Um, and, I, and, I, and I'm not okay with it. And I'm in a good place with all of this. And that's not necessarily... Um, stuff I want to get into um, during this, um, but we'll gladly talk about privately. Um, but I hope everybody's doing great. Oh, Twilight Zone, yes! I want to do that so bad. 
You have no idea. Um, like, there's been two gigs, because I typically ride with Jeremy. But that song is every time I'm like, ah, we need to learn this. So I think he's on board. And that was very dramatic, and I apologize. But it's so much was on. So deal with it. Um, how long have I been singing? I have been singing for almost 20 years. That's really weird to say. I know, Ben, we're so happy that Robert joined too. We love Robert. Like his energy on stage is just, it's, it's amazing. I love it. I'm very, I'm so happy. Couldn't have found a better basis. Do I think we'll have more virtual la, la, virtual shows? I hope so. I mean, if we're uh, get out of complete lockdown, I think that would be fun. Um, I do think that we need to do some covers together. Absolutely. Um, I actually listened to a song today um, that I wanted to send you. Um, it's really on ukulele. Um, I don't know if you guys know Karina at all, but I work with her um, in Springfield After Hours, and she's a badass ukulele player, a badass singer, and if you don't know her name, you will soon. Whether she becomes a solo singer-songwriter, a duo, or in a band. Just saying. I'm not wrong about these things. So we have three minutes left. Um, and then, um, again, um, the social media links and please like, follow, and subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate it all the way around. As all next week, uh, same time. 7 p.m. Um, our base is Robert Smith. We'll be doing one of these. Um, so have your questions ready. If you guys enjoy this, um, please let us know in the comments. Um, and we'll keep doing them. I mean, what the hell else are we going to do? We're all stuck at home, right? Um, but... I don't know if you can see me when I go to YouTube. Let's see. Let me know if you guys can see me while I'm looking up the song. Because I'm, I'm going to send Karina a song real fast. I'm sure like really weird squinting. Okay, where is the freaking pause button on this thing? <laughs> I really Oh, cool. What? What? Is oh. Shows? I really want to do shows again. Uh, not performing? It's not good. Um, and also just kind of living a normal day-to-day -day life. I'm very much a routine person, which is strange because I'm also a very spontaneous person. But I have to have some form of routine, or I just don't function very well. Um, anywho, there we go. 
thumbs this up in the even tips. So awesome. Okay, so you guys can see this is great. <laughs> Who the fuck said supplement? I said it. So they crack me up. What is my favorite hobby? I don't really have hobbies. Um, the work oriented person. Um, I mean, I guess you could count exercise as a hobby. Um, I do a, a, a lot of walking and running and, and yoga. Um, I'm a big yogi. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've been, been binge watching Lucifer. Um, so yeah, I guess exercise is a hobby. I don't know. Well, boys and girls, it is eight o'clock. It's actually so. I am going to log off again. Please um, follow, like, and subscribe the social media links in the comments. If you want to use the virtual tip jar, we're not going to explain, even though I know this isn't necessarily musical entertainment. Um, but next week, we're going to Robert Smith. We'll be doing episode two of Behind the Band. If you have enjoyed this, we'd like to see more of it. Uh, you know, like I said, we can get weird. We're good with it. We're pretty open people. Um, let us know if you want us to keep doing this, and um, we'll see where it goes. Um, oh, there's two new comments before we log off. All right, well, it's a great time to log off since the audio is going in and out. My ass is going to refill my wine glass and make some dinner. I hope that you guys have an amazing night. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Lena, the lead singer and from Stay safe, stay healthy.